So you have a Facebook group and you're looking to find ways to monetize it. It's not as easy as you think it would be. If you've got a Facebook page, you're able to jump through hoops, qualify based on engagement metrics and start working with brands. In fact, I've done a video on that in the corner up here and in the description down below on how you can monetize your Facebook page. But a Facebook group is a community of people built around a specific ideal hobby or event. I am the founder and admin for the Download Festival fan page on Facebook. Download Festival is a music festival in the UK that is the spiritual child of the Monsters of Rock Festival in the 1980s. That group has around about 60,000 people, but I don't monetize the page. I simply spam them with a load of my videos from time to time and build up an audience that way. But there are ways that you can monetize a group. One, share relevant affiliate links. So using this Download Festival fan page as an example, the festival, there's music there, and there's camping. So relevant links could be that around right about a month or two before the festival, I start sharing out camping equipment. Torches, tents, gazebos, rucksacks, boots. Because, you know, this festival is during June in the UK, so it normally is either baking hot with sunburn and hay fever, or you're drowning. These affiliate links you can push towards places like Amazon, or if you have an arrangement with a camping company, in my case, then you can push them that way. But let's say you're talking about tech in your group. You can then push them to phones and cameras and laptops. Maybe you're a filmographer and you're pushing people towards cameras. Or, in my case on my YouTube channel, I'm helping you figure out what animations you need to use. So you could use Place It down below for intros and end screens. Or if you're trying to get subtitles, I'd push you down to something like Rev.com, where they can easily subtitle all of your content from just one to two dollars per minute per video in any language. Here you see the relevancy matters. Because if I'm pushing on this channel, halfway through teaching you about YouTube, I'm pushing you to go and buy a nightlight for a toddler, or I'm trying to sell you a tent, it's not relevant and it won't convert as much. But if you're pushing relevant links on the page, not only does it mean that it blends in well with the thing, it adds value, people can ask, yeah, well, what four-man tent can I use? And I could go, well, here's three tents that you might want to look at, or here's a torch, or here's a, here's a bundle that they do. Because it's more relevant, it might help them do their research, and it's more likely to convert in the long run, rather than me selling baby grows in a group that's dedicated to male bodybuilding. Two, digital products. Now, this is the next step up from affiliate marketing, where you, possibly have a book or a download pack or a training course of some kind. The group is there learning about that specific field. So that say the group is about cameras. This digital product could be a user guide menu on how to set up a camera. It could be tips and tricks on lighting. It could be a download Lutz pack for grading your colors. It could be 10, 20 backing tracks because you're there and you're creating music. A digital product could be a great way to monetize that group while still offering them value. Once again, you don't want to be giving breastfeeding tips to an entire group dedicated to kids' toys memorabilia, but a digital product can just float around, it can be connected to the group. I will be launching one very soon for this channel myself, and if it already exists, then there's a link down below, and it could be something about helping you with your thumbnails or giving you loads of templates to play with. Three, newsletters. Now, this doesn't directly monetize the page at point of impact, but if you get people in your group that are interested in the content that you share to sign up for your newsletter, then you've got a way to engage them at a later date should you have a digital product or should you be promoting, in my case, a music festival in which you can send an affiliate link where you buy your ticket through here and I get paid. I have a newsletter here in which I've handed out a free ebook for ages. Right? And then I just engage with news. Once again, I could be much more aggressive with the way I monetize my content, but I don't. There's many people out there that will hammer it home. They're selling you online courses, or they're selling you this, or they're selling you that, or they're upgrading your membership. I prefer to just educate you here, and then hopefully in the long run, if you feel that I can help you, then maybe you contact me and I can coach you. Or you trust me enough to use the affiliate links down below. I don't want to strong arm you. But a newsletter can be a good way to build a contact list of all people that are really interested in that specific niche. So let's say you're really good at knitting, you want to build a mailing list of everyone that's good at knitting or that's interested in that hobby, then that newsletter could then send out patterns once a month 
and then when you're ready you can sell a book with the patterns in it or you can push them towards specific knitting needles or you can start selling popular patterns so that say, here's a pattern I made with Uriel Grande on it. Here's one for the return of One Direction. Here's how to knit your own granny blanket or face mask or willy warmer or whatever it happens to be. Four, selling advertised posts. Now this is a direct impact on the community that you've built there. Now I don't do this for my festival page, but the 60 odd thousand people there, if there was a band that wanted to promote themselves, if there was a product that wanted to be launched, maybe a new camping supplier that wanted to, to pay me 50, 100, 200, a thousand pounds to post an advert, to have it pinned or to have it promoted, that's a good way for you to make income based on your group. You know the engagement that you can get, you know the impact that it might have on your metrics, you have the insights tab on Facebook so you can drill down and give that juicy info to the possible advertiser. Best thing is, is that you're not giving personal data to the advertiser, so you're still covered by GDPR. They get access to your community, you get money in return. Kind of a win-win. Five, associated podcasts. Now, I've got a podcast for my YouTube channel. It's called The Start Creating Podcast, and you can go and see it at startcreatingpodcast.com. It's hosted by Anchor. It's on Apple and Google Play and Stitcher and Podbean and Podcast. In most places that you search for your podcast. I teach you on there some of my tricks and tips that I shared on here and every now and then I, I do very deep dive personal ones as well. I'm able to break out of the the five ten minute format here and I can talk to you for 20, 30, 50 minutes waffling on right in a slightly less edited format. Podcasts can distill the hardcore audience within a page into something that they want to listen. Going back to the camera fanatics idea, you're in a group where there's 20, 30,000 people, or even two, 300 people that use that group to learn about cameras. Each week you could sit down and you could talk about the latest camera, the latest camera news, the latest tech, the latest shots. You could get other photographers on and they can tell you how they shoot a wedding, how they shoot action shots, how they do skydiving. The podcast is the way that you monetize that page because you bring them over to that audience and then you can start putting adverts in against that podcast or using those metrics to start inviting guests on that may pay you to be on your podcast or in the long run pushing people to affiliate links through that podcast because they trust you and are willing to listen to you on a regular basis. Six, you can monetize your Facebook group with charity fundraisers. Now this doesn't directly put money in your pocket, but it doesn't have to, really. Let's say your group is all about cancer survivors, or COVID survivors, or Grenfell, or MLS, Alzheimer's, dementia, veterans of war. Here's your chance to give back because they've given to you with the support. You can put up your charity fundraiser Everyone's motivated and highly engaged. I'm not suggesting that you do it every day, but you can monetize that audience to help a set cause by just picking a charity fundraiser, promoting it, and hopefully you can help other people that have gone through similar situations. Now, if you want to learn how to monetize your Facebook page, there is a video here. And if you want to learn how to monetize in general using affiliate marketing and passive income, there's a video here. Remember to subscribe for regular YouTube, Facebook, social media tutorials, and I'll see you soon.